Hey everybody, KC here. So the Wall Street Journal has a story this week um, about what I think of as both the misguided and misinformed influence of influencers. Basically what they're saying is there's this theory or whatever you want to call it, currently uh, circulating in social media where influencers are making the point that A, the sun does not and cannot cause skin cancer and B, sunscreen does cause skin cancer. I don't even know what to make of this. You know, the Wall Street Journal makes the point. Listen, dermatologists have, this is pretty well informed, right? Uh, overexposure to the sun can cause skin cancer and people have to be careful about it. But in this case, the, the misinformation that these influencers are spreading, this can cause people to get sick. This can cause people to die. And uh, listen, we can have a reasonable conversation about how much sun you should get and you know, should you be using 15 or 30 SPF? And, you know, listen, the sun can be healthy. But speaking as someone who's had a, a bit of skin cancer, yeah, this stuff uh, is dangerous when people start to spread it around. Um, there's even uh, people out there on the Internet, about a quarter of adults, according to research, um, say that under 35, think that drinking water can help ward off sunburns. Keep you hydrated but it doesn't ward off sunburns. But listen, this is just one of many things that people are misinformed about. And we're talking factual things that people are misinformed about. Like 26% of Americans believe that the sun revolves around the earth. 16% of Americans think the earth is flat. Um, now, we can, this, is, this gets into the theological. It's interesting, 69% of Americans believe in both heaven and angels, although only, only 57% believe in hell and the devil. That's an interesting mismatch. I'm going to let somebody else explain that one. 41% of Americans believe that humans and dinosaurs coexisted on the earth. And 25% of Americans believe that when America won its independence, it was from a country other than England. I don't know what history books they've been studying. And don't even send me down the road to talk about vaccines. I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole. You know, the problem with influencers is that they basically are spouting off about something they know nothing about. And in some cases, they're being actually compensated to spread misinformation and disinformation. And it's it's just crazy. And like I said, you know, this I, I often say here, this is sort of a problem with the whole social media industrial complex. It thrives on this kind of crap. And it's somebody, many people are going to get hurt. Now, listen. The thing is, is, and some people are out there writing, well, you're kind of an influencer in what you do. And I would never describe myself that way. I'm a pundit, right? I express my opinion and I try to always label my opinion as such. Um, I learned a long time ago to try not to talk about things I don't know anything about. Many, many years ago, long before I started Morning Newsbeat, somebody hired me to go out to New Jersey and give, to, give a speech to some dairy organization. And they want me to talk about the state of dairy in America. And I can remember doing an enormous amount of research to figure out uh, what I was going to talk about in that speech. And about 30 seconds into it, realizing that I was the person in the room who knew the least about dairy. I had no business giving that speech. And, and ever since that time, I try to be very careful, whether I'm doing stuff here on Morning News Beat or I'm out giving speeches, I try to talk about the things I know something about, something that I've been taught by other people. That's my goal. I, I try not to spout off too much about things I don't know anything about. You may disagree with me on a lot of issues, but I hope, like to think these are matters of opinion. And when I get the facts wrong, I try, I stand corrected. I'm happy to admit when I get something wrong. Um, you know, but the problem is, you know, we're in a situation right now where, you know, as a nation, we've lost uh, trust in authorities. We've We've lost belief in inconvenient facts and we've lost faith in science. And what really, really concerns me is I don't know how we come back from this because I just think it's like Robert Bolt wrote uh, in A Man for All Seasons, Seasons in a speech that he gave to St. Thomas More. We live in a world where avarice and anger and envy and pride and sloth and lust and stupidity commonly profit far beyond humility, chastity, fortitude, justice and thought. I don't know how we go back. And, and in these occasional moments when I'm visited by what some people call the black dog, I worry we may never find our way back. And if we don't find our way back, I'm not sure what lies ahead. 
I think it's got to be a, a, it's got to be an issue we need to think about, and that institutions have to worry about whether you're a governmental institution, a scientific institution, or a business institution like a supermarket or any kind of retail store. Once all trust is eroded, I don't know where we go from there. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.